What's up, Vikes? I'm Emma, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Today, we asked some students what their opinions are on going back to school full-time. SHS may come back into full session. Let's see how students and teachers feel about the possible change. Yes and no. I feel like it can be a lot different for other people. For me, it's a lot better for me to learn when I'm, um, I'm a, I'm a hands-on learner, so I feel like it's a lot better for me, but I can't speak for everybody else. Students think that it will be more stressful because of COVID-19. I feel like it'll be a lot uh, more stressful for, the, um, for everybody because of um, corona. From my perspective, I think it's really important that students get that social interaction. Um, and it's also a big distraction at home for many students. I know a lot of my students have told me that it's really hard to get a lot of work done when they've got so many distractions at home. So although it's good to try and not spread the virus as much as possible, I think there should be a balance between stopping the spread and, you know, having good social interactions. Students think that they will learn better by coming back to school five days a week. Yeah, most of the people that um, that I know definitely do want to go back full time, and they're they're be they work better um, five days a week, and they're uh, they're not very good at online. I definitely am not. I'm terrible at doing online school. The Viking Brew is up to something spooky. Every time that you buy a 20 ounce drink, you have the chance to win a bucket of candy. The winners will be announced on Halloween. Boo Grams are selling throughout the month of October for you to send to a special someone. They're selling during lunch. The ACT prep class has been rescheduled via Zoom on Sunday, October 15th, and again on Sunday, November 1st. Check Schoology for how to register. The Writing Center is open for online appointments. If you'd like to schedule one, email Ms. Sands. The Fri this Friday is the annual FFA Haunted Trail. Here's some more information. I interviewed Mr. Stauffer about the Haunted Trail. The Haunted Trail is an organization, a fundraiser that FFA and its clubs put on together. We have a kids' trail where kids can play games and collect can get candy, kind of like trick or treating. And then there's an adult scary trail um, where we have actors that try to scare you. The haunted trail is Friday, this Friday. The um, kids' trail is from 4 p.m. to 6, and then the adult trail, the scary trail, is from 7 to 10. The, for the kids' trail, kids' trail, kids' games, we're going to do $15 a car load. So if a family comes in, um, they just need to pay $15 and we'll have an entrance at the parking lot. And so they just need to pay $15. And then for the adult scary trail, it's $5 a person. And if you bring in some canned goods, then you get a couple dollars off of your emission price. Make sure to go check out the Haunted Trail this Friday. Four to six will be the kids' trail for $15 per car, and seven to ten will be the adults' trail for $5 per person. Now, here are your sports. Anyone interested in joining up for wrestling, please see Coach Kelly in room C3 to sign up. The Seaman Boys soccer game has been canceled for tonight. There is a varsity football game tonight at Hummer Sports Park against T High. If you are able to attend, make sure to support your Vikings. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great day.